We have talked in this program so far, and you have heard the words about child abuse. A woman by the name of Cheryl Horton and others tell an even more grotesque story, ladies and gentlemen. Having babies to be turned over for human sacrifice to Satan. And we'll deal with that when we come back. I am begging you, if you're a parent and you've got kids there, that this subject is just too upsetting for your young children. Please get them out of the room or change the station. We urge you to exercise parental discretion. It has been established, as you have already seen on this program, in courts of law now, that human sacrifice is sometimes an element in rituals performed by people calling themselves Satanists. There is no longer any doubt about that, though just how often it actually is done is obviously impossible to know. The ideal sacrifice, we are told, apparently requires babies. And there are those people in satanic sex, including mothers who have belonged, who tell of babies being bred for sacrifice. As sickening and unbelievable as it sounds, bearing children for use in satanic rituals may really be happening. My daughter, who I named Wendy, was sacrificed at birth with an upside-down cross and then taken outside and buried. Um, my son, they kept and let live till two years old, and then he was sacrificed. Michael and I had a son, and he was dedicated to Satan at birth. And at six months of age, he was sacrificed to Satan. It is most common for the heart to be taken from the child and offered to Satan. These women say they speak from personal experience. They claim to be breeders, forced by covens to bear children, both as a way for the cults to get new members and to find fresh victims for ritual murder. Did you give birth to infants who were sacrificed? To My first two. Were sacrificed. Were sacrificed. I was told it was the highest honor I could mm -hmm. ever do as a woman, was to sacrifice my first two. And you did that? I was so brainwashed, I believed the, their philosophy. Jackie tells us she was able to escape her satanic cult. Today she helps other women, like Donna, who are trying to break free. You killed your babies? Um, take the skin off. You skin the baby? You take the baby's skin off? Do you feel remorse? Have you told the police? I had to do what I had to do, or I'd be killed like like the babies that that they that they made me watch killed and that they put in my hand. They said, Obey or this is you. Jackie, you have some pictures drawn during the therapy sessions by the people who've been through this. Why don't you show me some of them? This picture is a person remembering skinning uh, children and babies and hanging it out to dry. And children, skinning? Skinning them, taking the skin off alive while they, while they are alive and uh, skin them until they die. And that's how your babies died? They took a little patch about three by four off of her stomach, skinned her, and said, we'll skin you all the way if you talk or cry. You learn not to cry real fast. I don't cry. This is real hard for the police because they can never find proof and that's because the bodies are sometimes consumed for communion, um, sometimes burnt, sometimes put in concrete. For proof, the women offered a few grisly photos. But as the Satanists are quick to point out, the images of death and decay are impossible to verify. But here in Denver, Colorado, the Bethesda Psychiatric Institute has become the first in the country to devote an entire department to treating the victims of ritual crime. Uh, Can we believe these stories of sacrifice? I believe we need to believe them. Uh, they sound bizarre. They, find, they sound uh, beyond the capacity of human beings. Uh, but the stories we receive are tremendously consistent. Is this an epidemic? Uh, I believe uh, involvement in Satanism is increasing. Uh, I believe it is present in many communities around our country, and I believe it demands our attention. But somebody is apparently trying to discourage scrutiny. We've talked to therapists who treat ritual abuse victims, and they tell us of the threats they've received. I have direct knowledge of both death threats on a therapist and an attempt to end that therapist's life, which was unsuccessful. Here in Chicago, a group of well-known therapists from all over the country had the courage to share horror stories 
of threats and intimidation. Therapists have been directly threatened in ways that are quite alarming to them. The patient indicated to me that she wished to sacrifice the child with which she was pregnant. Naturally, I wasn't too enthusiastic about this. Uh, shortly after this uh, occurred, I start, started to get telephone death threats. One of the things that I would add is that we are now hearing these reports from literally hundreds of therapists in every part of the United States. Someone out there is telling us to back off. Still the greatest toll seems to be on the women who say that they have bred babies. Babies that were sacrificed for Satan. I will probably have nightmares tonight about it. As I have about my Joey that I have been talking about, I wake up screaming for him now in the middle of the night. I dream that he's lost and I'm trying to find him. Sickening, so incredibly outrageous, so incredibly unbelievable. But Zena LaVey, are these women lying? You have to understand that everything, every single thing you've um, given as examples of Satanism here are completely from a Christian standpoint. That everything you've um, put forth as being considered satanic is not considered satanic by my standard or my are definition these women of Satanism. Lying. Well.